Hi, Toby Johnson. I'm Jordan, and it's First Thing First period on Friday, April 22nd. That means it's time for First Things First on TJTV. I'm Tyler. <laughs> Prince, a famous singer and songwriter, passed away. He was born June 7th, 1958, and passed away yesterday, April 21st, 2016. The cause of his death is unknown. Prince, a songwriter, singer, producer, one-man studio band, and con consummate showman, died yesterday at home in Chanhassen, Minnesota, at the age of 57. His publicist confirmed his death, but not, did not report a cause. Prince achieved wide fame in the 1980s with his albums 1999 and Purple Rain, the latter album also serving as a soundtrack for the popular film of the same name. Later, Prince's albums included Sign of the Times, Diamonds and Pearls, and Musicology. His album Prince sold more than 13 million copies in the United States. He also won an Academy Award for his first and only film, Purple Rain. Thanks to New York Times for this new story. Jaguars, the next, Royal, the next regular Royal J meeting for current 7th grade Royal J members will be held on Wednesday, April 27th at 8 a.m. in room MH8 with Mrs. Rashid. Come pick up forms, ask questions, submit petitions, and check your files. Remember, Royal J members must attend and sign in at least one meeting per term to, in order to stay eligible for obtaining their Royal J awards. Please note that this is the last Royal J meeting for the 2015-16 school year. Now let's go to Emily for today's TDIH. This Day in History First on this day in 1970, Earth Day, an event to increase public awareness of the world's environmental problems, is celebrated in the United States for the first time. Millions of Americans, including students from thousands of colleges and universities, participated in rallies, marches, and educational programs. Next on this day in 1992, dozens of sewer explosions in Mexico kill more than 200 people and damage 1,000 buildings. The series of explosions was caused by a gas leak, the warning signs of which were ignored by the Mexican government and the National Oil Company. Also on this day in 1994, President, former President Richard M. Nixon dies after suffering a stroke four days earlier. In a 1978 speech at Oxford University, Nixon admitted he had made mistakes during his presidency, but predicted that his achievements would be viewed more favorably with time. He told the young audience, you'll be here in the year 2000. See how I am regarded then. Finally, on this day in 1945, Adolf Hitler learning from one of his generals that no German defense was offered to the Russian assault, admits to all in his underground bunker that the war is lost and that suicide is his only recourse which he carried out on April 30th. That's it for me. I'm Emily reporting for TJTV. Now back to you. Thanks, Emily. If you have not bought your yearbook yet, there are 54 yearbooks left to purchase before yearbook distribution day in May. Congratulations to TJTV's Katie Nguyen and Trisha Cal for winning the district's PSA contest. They are both getting $50 Amazon gift cards. In other winning news, Congratulations to Carmen Jimenez for winning honorable mention in the Sacramento YOLO Mosquito and Vector Control District's annual Fight the Bite contest. Her entry was chosen out of over 3,000 entries that they received this year. She will be getting a check for $50 at, for winning honorable mention. Polar ice caps may play an, a critical part in Earth's future. In fact, scientists are already looking into it. Let's go to Armando for more about this topic. Warmer air, less frigid water, and gravity may combine to make parts of Antarctica's western ice sheet melt far faster than scientists had thought, which means the level of the sea could rise very quickly as well. All this, according to a study, could happen before the century is over. In a worst case scenario, the sea level could rise in 2100 by 18 to 34 inches, and by 2500 the, simula the simulations predict seas 42 feet higher. The increase would come purely from Antarctic melt. That is much more than an international panel of climate scientists predicted just three years ago. Robert DeCanto, a climate scientist, states that North America has a lot to fear from ice loss from West Antarctica. If global warming continues to cause warmer weathers, California and so many other places are in much danger. For more information, go to tweentribune.com. I'm Armando reporting for TJTV. Now back to you. Thanks, Armando. 
Did you know that we are going to have a new face on the $20 bill? The Department of Treasury announced that Harriet Tubman will be the first African-American woman on the U.S. paper currency, replacing Andrew Jackson on the $20 bill. She is receiving this honor because of her bravery, escaping from slavery in 1849, saving her family and other slaves. She successfully brought many families to safety, working for the Union Army as a cook and nurse, then as an Army scout and spy. She was the first woman to lead an armed expedition in war, and she guided the Convahee River Raid, which freed 700 slaves in South Carolina. The last time any woman was on a paper money was in the late 1800s when the First Lady, Martha Washington, appeared on the $1 silver certificate, and Pocahontas was on the $20 bill from 1865 to 1869. This change will be the first of many changes that will happen to U.S. currency. Hey Jordan, do you know what time it is? I think it's time to talk. Sports, Sports talk. talk. Hey Toby, and welcome to Sports Talk on this rainy Friday. Let's jump right in, no time to waste. Starting off the segment with a little playoff basketball. The Warriors finally lose a game in the series against the Rockets when James Harden hit a fadeaway game winner to win 96-95. Take a look. Houston knocked it away and here comes Harden. One point Golden State lead. Harden against the back pedal of Iguodala. He got it! He got it! Timeout Golden State! Thanks to TNT for the footage. You should definitely fear the beard after that play. But Curry sat out last night due to an ankle injury early in the series. OKC versus the Dallas Mavericks. Kevin Durant had a much better shooting night rather than on Monday. Russell Westbrook had 26 points, 15 assists, and two steals, and led the Thunder to a win over the Mavs, 131-102. And last but not least, the Raptors versus the Pacers. Kyle Lowry led the Raptors to a win with 21 points, 4 rebounds, and 8 assists. The Raptors lead the series 2-1. Moving away and into America's pastime, baseball. The Mariners versus the Indians. The Mar Mariners won 10-7, making the Indians record 6-7. The Dodgers beat the Braves 2-9, uh, putting LA 10-6. The Giants lost to the Diamondbacks four, time, 4 times and are not looking like themselves. They lost 6-2. The Pirates led the, laid the hammer on the Padres 11-1, making them 8-8, 3-5 eight eight, away. And that concludes another sports talk. But before I go, shout out to my brother Donovan Davidson for an early birthday. Make sure to wish him happy birthday if you see him. Well, that's it for me. I'm Denzin, and I'll see you next time when we can talk sports talk. That's it for today's show. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of First, First Things First, First on TJTV. TV. I'm Jordan. Remember to set your recycling bins out. And I'm Tyler. Today is the actual Earth Day.